Hi everyone, so some of you will remember this card, which is an easel. So you undo those little bits there and then it folds flat like that. But obviously you need to have instructions. You need to give it to somebody who knows about easel cards or you need to give it to somebody with instructions. So that got me thinking, could I make one that it doesn't need instructions? Yes, I can. So this one is a six by six double wedged pop-up panel card. And so it's got a very similar look to it. Although obviously on this one I didn't put the um I didn't put the extra bits here coming up. So you've got smaller pillars on the side and you've got a wider front. So on this one I've done got a narrower front, so all three bits are the same, but I quite like the you know how equal it all is. Um so yeah, so this is the one, but it folds flat for posting like that, fits in an envelope for a six by six card. Um the papers I've used, I've actually used a bit of a mishmash. I've used the Wallace and Gromit toppers. That I got from Craft Stash a while ago. I actually got them in the magazine first and then Craft Stash had them as well. So I topped up with the Craft Stash ones. And then the papers are from first edition Fiesta Fever pad. I'll try and link it below if I can find it. It was from a while ago, a couple of years ago. Um, but yeah, so that's the card. And obviously you've got space on the back to write. Um, I did do this in a live stream a week or so ago. Um, and I did it as a landscape version. And I attached it onto the back of a card blank. So I just thought I'd show you the portrait version because obviously this is the same as the um, as the easel one that I did a few more weeks ago than that. But yeah, so I hope you like it. So let's get into it. Right, so for this card, you're going to need a, a few bits and bobs. I've really stuck my mats and my patterns down just to try and help out a little bit. So you're going to need a six by six card. And on base card and onto that you need to stick a five and three quarter by five and three quarter mat and a five and a half by five and a half white card and this is going to be the bit on the back where you can write your message so this is going to be for the portrait version okay i did do a landscape version in a live stream recently um and all you really need to do instead of having this six by six piece you just need a six by six card blank so in other words, a 6 by 12 piece of card that's scored halfway at 6 inches, folded in half to make a, um, a card blank. And you would need to have it as a top folding card blank. Um, and then you're going to stick the bits that we're now doing will go on, so on this side here. So imagine that's the front of your card blank and the folds along the top. All that we're going to do would stick onto your card blank. But if you want to do it as a portrait, not a landscape, then you need a six by six and then you need these other pieces as well. OK, so for the scoring parts, you're going to need two pieces that are six inches by six and a half and one piece that is six by seven. So starting with the two pieces that are six by six and a half, along the six and the six, six and a half edge, you want to score at half an inch at two and a half, at three and a half, and at four and a half. So you're gonna do that on both of your six by six and a half inch pieces. Just make sure it is the six and a half inch edge you're doing it on. And then on your six by seven inch piece, again, you wanna do it on the seven inch side, you're going to score at one inch, at one and three quarters, two and a half, four and a half, five and a quarter, and six. Okay? Okay, so starting with this six by seven piece that we just scored, you're going to go mountain, valley, mountain, mountain, valley, mountain. So it should end up with that. That's what it should end up with. Okay, put that to one side and bring in your other two pieces, which were your six by six and a half. So on these, you're going to start, if we start with the, um, well, we start with the half inch tab, isn't it? So let me turn my half inch tab around. So I've got that on the left. So you're going to go um, mountain, mountain, valley, mountain. And you can do it on both of them. So 
Okay, so once you've done that, you should end up with two pieces that look like that. I've put them the opposite way around, and then obviously that's the one you did originally. So these two, you just need to make sure, like I've done, that you've got one with the tab on the left and the big concertina bit on the right, and the other one is the way around. So you've got your tab on the right and your big concertina bit on the left, okay? So what we're going to do is I'm just going to bring in that 6x6 six six that we had before, and I'm going to turn it over, so obviously making sure you're, if you've already done what I've done, that it's the right way up. So we're going to turn that over like this, and then what we want to do is we're going to squish this flat. Now, these two should kind of meet in the middle. So if that is the case, you want to take a ruler and a pencil, and just along the top and along the bottom, you're going to mark halfway at three inches. And this is just so that you're going to get this piece in nice and central so now we're going to do is we're going to take a i'm going to take some glue and i'm going to put glue just on one side of this um so this is the concertina part that's kind of split in half okay so i'm going to put it on one side for now and i'm going to open this up and we're going to line this up so that cut edge lines up with that three inch mark Okay, like that, and then we're going to glue the other one. And then we're going to flatten the whole thing, so make sure you concertina it as well, and stick it all down like that. So you've got a concertina piece in the middle. So when you let go, if you have a look, oh, it's sticking a bit, I've got a bit of a... A bit of a leakage going on if you're using glue like i am and you've got a bit of a leakage just go in and just make sure that we're not all stuck down there's one big piece so you should end up with that basically okay and on the back obviously is your so this stands up nicely like this but with the other one that's that way around that's why you need the card blank so you'd need a top folding card blank here okay if you watch my um live stream from a week or so ago you'll see it on there okay so let's have this right around that way around like that so now what we're going to do is we're going to take our concertina piece i'm going to put some red tape on here you can use wet glue but i want red tape because it might move if i use um wet glue Okay, apologies for any noise that you can hear outside. There's a tree surgeon just down the road, um, and I'm trying. I was trying to dodge the noise, but I'm just never going to get this video done if I keep doing that. So I'm just going to have to carry on, and I hope that it's not too loud on the video. Okay, so what you've done when you've done your um, your uh, tabs, you want to go ahead and take the backing off the tape. I'm, gonna, I'm only going to take part of it off, and then concertina that down and fold that nice and flat. And then just obviously take the rest of the backing off. So you end up with that. And that's what you want. So you can do the same with the other piece. So you should end up with that. Two um, pieces that look a bit like arrows. Two little arrows. And the, you want both arrows facing inwards. So if you bring your card back in again, one is going to go on the left hand side and one is going to go on the right hand side. So I'm going to go ahead and stick these down with wet glue. So once you've done that, you should end up with that, which is your, so you've got your two little arrows facing in and your little middle squidgy bit. And the joy of this is when somebody gets this, unlike with the easel one that I did, um, this just pops up. So it folds flat like that and it will fit in an envelope for a 6x6 six six card because the footprint is actually 6x6. Six six. So to decorate, you're going to need three panels for these. And these, the matte panels are one and three quarters by five and three quarters. And the pattern panels are one and a half by five and a half. I've gone for an orange and a teal, so I've gone two different colours. I'm going to go orange on here and teal in the middle. Then optional, if you want to, 
you can also decorate these panels here i like to do them because you can sort of see them because of the way it stands you can kind of see them they're quite obvious these aren't but these are so if you do want to decorate these as well you'll need two strips the mat is seven eighths by five and seven eighths and the pattern is three quarters by five and three quarters if you want to go less because obviously the border around that is going to be different to these borders you can you can go for three quarter by five and three quarter and half by five and a half but i just think half an inch of pattern is just a little bit too thin for me so i've gone for a smaller border on those pieces so i'm going to go down now and stick all of this down So you should end up with that. So that's your your card. So now I just need to go ahead and add whatever greeting you want in the middle. So I'm going to add this enjoy your day and I'm going to put it on. I think I'm going to put it on pads. Yeah, I'm going to put it on pads and put that there. And so there's your finished cards. So obviously that's that way up. So it stands up like that. You don't need to have the um, card blank on the back. But yeah, it's quite a nice card. And I like the fact, obviously, it folds nice and flat like that, as I mentioned before, for posting. Um, so you don't have to give any instructions. So when the person takes it out of the envelope, it just automatically pops up. It automatically stands up. And uh, yeah, you've got, and unlike with the 5x7, you've actually got a bit more space, a bit more width to, you're not quite so confined with the, what you have on the front. Um, so yeah, so that's, that's the card for today. So please like and subscribe. Hit the notification bell so you never miss a video. Uh, if you want to become a member, please do. Um, there's a join button below. There's also, um, in the description below, there is a link that you can click on that will take you through. But yeah, so that's the card for today. So I hope you enjoyed it and um, I'll see you again next time. Bye.